Happy Friday. Welcome back for some more Super Mega Baseball 4. We're getting ready to take on the Franklin City Flyers again. And before we do that, I got to give a shout out to Negative IQ Points for the kind words about my commentary voice. Um, I got to say, I, I wanted to do some form of radio when I was in college. I spent a couple years at a radio station and I loved the experience. It's just that a lot of it was inaccessible as far as the touchscreen world that uh, radio stations, that sort of thing, are moving to. And one of the things that I would love to do if given the time and the resources would be to do color commentary for baseball at some level, even if it was local stuff. That'd be a blast. But you know what? Right now we got uh, some fake commentary about some fake baseball. I'm excited to get back into it. You know what we got to check before we do, though? It's our player development opportunities for these bullets. See what we can do. If uh, if anything, we're not uh, not so high in the money department. We got an opportunity for Canopy Cannon to pick up some more contact and some fielding. Um, I wouldn't say no to that necessarily. Let's uh, take a look at our other options as they are. Uh, we have uh, Nicole Frazier. Wow, a pretty good line here. Um, am I sure? So she could get some velo. A little bit of everything for Nicole. I'm doing that. Because without even looking at the other options, that's a pretty solid go. She's got decent... Um, Velo, she's got uh, okay, you know, junk and uh, accuracy, those types of things, and that's unfortunately going to run our pocketbooks to empty for this day, and uh, we're going to move on to the lineup, take a look at everybody, see how we're doing, uh, tense for, um, who are you, Kaylee Stewart, uh, out in the first base region well we're gonna see if we can stick somebody else over that way and we could go with uh, yeah we could do uh get Victoria Daniels you know what after the last game she just had I think we'll do that we have a locked in uh, locked in melody so we'll take that everybody else looking pretty good um, on the mound today is uh, Wedge Villagas, who has struggled for us. You know that this uh, Flyers team is going to be on for revenge, so let's send it out to Emerald Diamond, and it's time for some weekend baseball. Good to be home, still home, and trying to go 4-0 are the Bayfront Bullets. Taking them out today, Wedge Villagas. And uh, to say a work in progress would be charitable for Wedge. And we're ready to get this one underway. The center field, number 35, Walter Owens. Walter Owens in the box. I'm going to turn off some lights really quick before we get this one going. Wedge, a right-hander. Scoot a drink out of the way so I don't knock it over onto the PS5. But we got a four-seamer, a two-seamer, a slider, a curve, and a change of pace. So lots of options for Wedge, who looks to Molly, winds, kicks, and deals. And that's in there. We are underway from the diamond. Wedge with an 0-1. Beautiful pitch just outside to even the count on Owen. And Owen takes a crack at that one. Left field. Handled out there for out number one. Number 29, Jazeel Eaton. And here's Jazeel Eaton. So some uh, potential trouble here. We've got the elite curve uh, against rally starter for Eaton. First pitch from Wedge is in there. One from Wedge Villagas. Swung on and hit on the ground, handled and thrown across in time. And just like that, there are two gone. Number 12, Emilio Casey. Here comes Emilio Casey. And uh, Wedge having a start this ball game, the pitch. 
That one is low on the first off-speed off -speed pitch rather we've seen from Vologas thus far. That one's outside, but not by much. Wedge. Deals, and that's inside. So 3-0 all of a sudden, and trouble. For Vologas, looks to Molly, winds, kicks, deals. That's in there, so 3-1. and one. Wedge. Looks to Molly, gets the sign and hurls, and that one's fouled away to fill the count. Three balls. Two strikes, the pitch. And that's high, so Wedge gets uh, within a pitch of ending the inning with no damage, but walks. So man on first for Johnny Martin. And uh, speaking of commentary, as uh, Wedge winds kicks, fires one in there for strike one. I had the chance to grow up with one of the best broadcasters in baseball, Wedge. Kicks and deals on the ground and foul. Make it 0-2. And, and uh, may have to continue that thought at the end of the inning as Wedge looks ready. Winds, kicks, and deals. Just inside on a slider. 1-2. and two. Molly setting up high and outside. The 1-2 from Wedge was not high, but was outside and fouled away. There's an elite curveball for the strikeout. We'll continue to talk about commentary as we move to the home half. Um, but yeah, I had the chance to listen to Bob Euchre. And uh, you can't get better than Mr. Baseball himself. As far as... Oh my criminy. Sister Jax is hyped up and, and ready to take some hacks at the diamond first pitch. He takes a hack indeed, pops it foul, playable in foul ground, first base side, and he'll be retired. But it was a treat to get to listen to Uke. Comes Victoria Daniels, who uh, walked us off with a grand slam. Trying to do it again at that pitch, and uh, misses for a strike. Takes that one inside, one ball, one strike, one out to Daniels. Just behind that pitch, and she's behind in the count now. Gonna have a hold of that and have a single is Daniels. But what a voice, what a legend in baseball he is. Bob Euchre still doing it at say 90 years old. Melody. Just uh, a wild human being. Very funny, very knowledgeable. Because that one is not there for Melody. That is there though when she hits it to left field. Everyone's gonna have to get back to where they're from as that's handled out there, so two go on now. Here comes Canopy Cannon with a couple of outs. Runner at first. And Canopy has a hold of that one. It's going to go to the wall, and with two gone, the runner is going to go for the plate. There's going to be a play, and it's not in time. The Bullets take the lead on an RBI double. Here comes Reed Solomon with a runner on second base. Still two out in the inning. Reed smacks one up the middle, and that'll be a single. And another run's going to come in, and that's going to be the inning. Just kidding. So one comes across. A little too risky there on the base running from the Bullets, but they now lead it 1-0 as we move to inning number two. Hmm. I'll we'll take it. Oak Trickster. Oak Trickster set to lead it off this half. Wedge. Back in the box. Wines, kicks, and deals. That fastball has been there, but not on that pitch, as that's outside for ball one. That one's fouled away sharply. Even the count. And that one's hit an absolute ton. Left field and we are tied. Made a mistake of throwing another fastball in a bad spot and that thing got out of here in a hurry. Well, tie ball game here early. Number 23, Augustine Cervantes. 
Augustine Cervantes. Don't believe we have seen that name in the series up to this point. First pitch is there on the slider from Wedge. Nasty curveball, but that one does not find the zone. Swing and a miss. And not there, two and two. Wedge going for a strikeout, the pitch. He's gonna have it. Off-speed pitch, nasty. This guy, uh, if we can work on the accuracy, would be a force to be reckoned with as Happy Ranch. Steps up with uh, an out in the inning. Happy Ranch. Foul ball. And that's going to be hit foul again. So Happy Ranch in an 0-2 count. Wedge deals it. Beautiful pitch for the strikeout. That off-speed okay. stuff is dirty. Number 63, Olivia Ramirez. Comes Olivia Ramirez, who has given us fits a couple of times up to this point. First pitch fastball is inside to Olivia. And she's going to give us fits again. Left field going back, gone. She took that one, got a hold of it, and just flipped it out of here. So another home run. That one's good for another, and the Franklin City Flyers have a 2-1 lead. Wedge Villagas trying to get out of the inning here with uh, two given up thus far as the first pitch is outside for a ball. Hanging changeup popped up into the seats. Be a souvenir. And that one backs off the batter. I'll pretend I know who it is, but I, I wasn't paying attention. And that's going to be a walk to whoever that was. Walter Owen, so that must have been the pitcher. Walter Owen, as Wedge fails to end the inning with the pitcher and uh, finds himself in trouble. And the hanging changeup. Handle gets to the wall. And that's not good. Jazeel Eaton now. Wedge has some pitching to do. The first one to Eaton is in there. And that's a strike. Wedge trying to get out of it the pitch. Not quite there. One ball. The two-seamer hit on the ground, handled, throw across in time. So more trouble could have been there and wasn't. So it's a 2-1 ball game moving as we are to the bottom of the second. So Wedge gets into trouble but is able to get back out of it on a key play there. Here comes Blamo Battery, leading it off, trying to keep the bullets in this one. Only one run behind. Takes that inside, back him off. And Blamo pops it up right field. Can a corn and break out the cob. That was an easy one. Royal Thunderer. Screams one foul, it's 0-1. Outside for Royal. And pops that one right field as well. This one a little more in foul ground, but still playable. Royal is gone. Well, here comes Molly. Molly's going to ground out. And that's a quick inning. One, two, three, go the bullets. They trail 2-1. Moving into the third. Now batting, the second baseman, number 12, Emilio Casey. Emilio Casey. 
is thrown out on the ground ball. Pitch number one. One up, one down. Johnny Martin. That was Johnny Martin. A bit of frustration. He sounded like a zombie walking up to the plate. And he's not going to be frustrated about that. That's a hit. Be a single for Johnny. Something cooking for the Flyers. Oak Trickster. Oak Trickster now with a runner aboard and one gone. First off speed pitch is fouled away. That is a nasty pitch. It just wasn't uh, where Wedge or Molly were looking for it. Bring out the butter. Fans looking for blood here at the Emerald Diamond. And the strikeout on the heater. A wild, crazy pitch, but good for the K. Augustine Cervantes in the box now with two gone. Checks on the runner at first, does wedge. Not that they'd try much with two out, but that's not there. He looks like he's a little preoccupied with that runner, which... All right. And the curveball hit to left and gone. Well, Wedge... Pitching decently, but has given up a few long balls tonight. That appears to be this youngster's kryptonite. Number 36, Happy Ranch. Happy Ranch now as that's a four on the scoreboard for the Flyer Franklin City Flyers, who lead this ball game by three runs. Double there. It's gonna keep the inning alive. Number 63, and here comes Olivia Ramir, who hit a home run last time up. And Wedge wants nothing to do with her. And that's going to put another run on the board. Five to one now, your score. And Beck. Remington Beck in the box. And you know what? The pitcher's going to have one, too. They're going to be at the corners now. And that's going to do it for uh, not a very... Go with... Uh, we go with here. Steve, Steve Woodard, coming out of the pen. That one's fouled away. Steve coming in trying to uh, keep the game reasonable. And that's not doing it. That's ball three, strike one, Steve. That's cracked on the ground. The throw across is going to be in time. Well, they pick up three. It's not a pretty inning, and Wedge being forced out in just the third tonight. Not even going three. Rough start. Steve bat for himself here. Tried to sneak one back. Outside. Just behind that one, Steve. Fouls that one away. Two strikes on him, swings and misses. So one gone. Back to the top of the order we go. It's time for Cesar Jax to step back in. Cesar, no chance, the throw in time and the offense here. 
Victoria is going to have a knock. No, she's not. She's going to be gone. Well, that was a fast inning. Another one in. Just the one run up on the board. Steve Woodard coming back out for another inning of work. Here comes Jazeer Eaton again. Jazeer's got a knock. Single to lead off the inning. Now batting, the second baseman, number 12, Emilio Casey. All right, Emilio Casey now. This pitch nowhere close from Steve. And the double play in time there. First base, number three, Johnny Martin. Johnny Martin, bases clear, two outs, Steve. Trying to get it going here to put up a goose egg. All the way, Steve trying to get it done. Not gonna have it on that one. Foul ball again. And the fastball, too much. Strikeout for Steve, and that puts up the zero. Well, four to get, and a few innings to get them as we move to the bottom of the fourth. Still time, halfway home here in Seattle. But it's going to start with something, and that's something right here is Melody Ferguson who takes one in the zone. Hits that one a right field that's got air under it, though, and Melody set down on the flyout. Frustration being let out by Canopy Cannon there, and maybe a little bit of that competitive edge needed. Canopy gets a hold of that one. The throw across is in time, however. Two up, two down again for these bullets who are aggressive but not getting anywhere for Reed Solomon. He's in there, 0-1. That's in there as well, 0-2 on Reed. Reed says, have that one, why don't you? And that's going to go to the wall. Reed is digging for two, and he will have both on the double. Reed Solomon at second base. It's time for Blamo Battery to see what he can do. Not there for the first one. Swing and a miss. Blamo to center field. That's going back. That's got a shot. And no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, another zero. We're moving to the fifth now. And it feels like things are, you know, getting desperate. Here comes Oak Trickster. And that's going to fall. Oak Trickster saved by, yeah, I'm agreeing with the heckle back there. Augustine Cervantes now. Double play, the second one of the day for the Bullets clears the bases. Here's Happy Ranch. And that's fair for Happy Ranch as that travels the distance. Happy Ranch, long single. Third baseman, number 63, Olivia Vermeer. Olivia Ramir. Nasty pitch is not there. It's one and two, Steve. To Olivia. Handled for the out. And that's the one that we needed. Well, Steve has come out of the pen and is the only arm thus far to have done a job decently well. Time for Royal Thunderer. Still looking for her first home run of the season. Fouls went away 0-1. And 
And that won't be a home run, but it'll be a single for Royal. Take it any way we can get it. Here comes Miss Molly. Fouled away 0-1 to Molly. Left field going back. Molly is gone. Runner retreats back to first. Steve is going to hit the uh, hit the not here's and here comes Miss Layla Uptown in her purple bat. But you have done us favors this year and uh, looks like that's not going to happen here. Layla caught out easily and the runner retreats again. So two gone now. And this inning went from being promising to being depressing in a hurry. Here comes Cesar Jax. Cesar, center field, going back, got a chance, catchable, gone for Cesar Jacks, a two-run one. Two-run one. Two-run Jack for Cesar Jacks. I gotta think of something for that guy. Well, we'll take a couple and uh, feels doable again. Here's Victoria Daniels. And she launches one right field, trying to do the same darn thing, and she is! That's gone. Back-to-back -back boardwalk bullet, or should I say Bayfront bullet bombs. Victoria Daniels continuing the hot streak. All right, new arm on the mound for the Flyers. Swing and a miss. Foul the way. Fouled again. And that's going to get through as well, so the inning stays alive for the Bayfront Bullets. Runner on first. Here comes Canopy Cannon. And handled easily for the out there as we need to go to the pen and we're gonna do so this time for Frazier. Need to stay in this one. Five for the score and we're moving to the sixth. So it's certainly go time. Here's Ricci. Still gonna be in the box, Nicole. Trying to evade some of the struggles she's had thus far this year throw in time for out number one. The center field, number 35, Walter Here comes Owen as we move to the top of this Flyers lineup again. Nicole absolutely throwing hot sauce. And that fork ball just manages to be a foul one. Popped up, playable out there. Nope, that's going to be a souvenir. And the strikeout for Nicole Frazier. Now back to left field, number 29, Gazeel Eaton. Here's Gazeel Eaton. Bats with a pair of outs. That nasty fork ball from Nicole was there. As was that. Dis well, no, that wasn't there. I thought it was. Off. Flap and flapjacks. That was there. Don't give me that. And that's low, so Nicole's got to put it in the zone. Just does so on that one. And the strikeout for Nicole ends the inning. So Frazier comes out of the pen and... Keeps us within a run as we move to the bottom of the sixth inning. Here comes Reed Solomon. Has a whack center field. Handleable though, and one pitch, one out. And again, the aggression not doing the bullets any favors. Blammo battery. Trying to get it done here. Pops that one to center as well. They're 
Win must be coming in at Battery Bay as Blamo is retired easily. Two up, two down on just a couple of pitches. Royal must be being told to take. She taking a couple good ones. One and one the count though. And that's popped up. Same result. Royal is gone as are the Bullets in the sixth. And it's crunch time here. The second baseman, number 12. Emilio Casey. Here comes Emilio Casey to lead it off in the seventh. That one is hit a little ways. And nobody's going to get there. Another boneheaded fielding play by me pushing the switch player button as much as I could. And Johnny Martin now. No balls and a strike. Runner at second. Tried to jam Johnny. Couldn't quite do it on that one. And foul ball. Mm. Nicole trying to find the put away pitch. Looks to Molly and deals another one. That's a strikeout. That runner. Number 37, Oak Trickster. And out from being left at second base. Two outs, rather, from being left at second base. Here comes Oak Trickster. Fouls the first one away. Nicole. That just about hit Trickster. Foul the way again. Nasty pitch fouled away again and the tough at bats from this Franklin City defense are piling up. Beautiful spot for the two seamer. Not quite enough though. And uh, another foul ball battle. And the strikeout comes in for Nicole. Two outs now. No matter what happens today, you have to admire the pitching effort here from Miss Frazier. Just outside on the pitch. Second one fouled away. A ball and one strike. The pitch is there. And that's going to do it. Nicole gets out of it. Well, bottom of the seventh, last chance for the Bullets to score 5-4 from Emerald Bay. And uh, here comes Molly to lead it off. Trying to be more patient. She's taking the first one, hitting the second one, left field, going back, going back, going back. That's off the wall. Molly's going to run in for second base, and she is going to have it. A leadoff double puts the tying run aboard. I'm going to have Nicole bat because on the off chance that we need something else, we're going to need. Aha, Nicole gone on the foul bunt. Not how you want to do it. Popped up by Cesar Jacks. Trouble and going to go foul. One ball, one strike, one gone. Runner goes, the pitch swung on and hit. Down the line, foul. The attempted hit and run, no dice. And that's going to be a walk. Well, here comes somebody we know as a hero late, Victoria Daniels, one gone. It's to left field. Everybody's got to get back. Everybody's going to get back. There are two gone. Well, last hope for the Bullets is Melody Ferguson today. Two gone, a 5-4 ball game, bottom of the seventh. 
First pitch, Molly Melody didn't even think about it. That's on the ground, handled, and that is the ball game. So opportunities with runners on base were the were the plight of this ball game and the final score five runs on 11 hits no errors five runs or excuse me four runs nine hits one error for the bullets we'll get you a look at the big numbers here if you'd like to take a look at the totals again you gotta admire the pitching effort put forth by Nicole Frazier tonight she kept us in it after the collapse of Wedge Villagas and the struggles of Steve Woodard the uh, loss tonight being pinned on Villagas did not go very far he gave up quite a few and that's a struggle as we get you a look at your clean dugout league MVPs tonight and uh, despite the loss uh, you've got some Victoria Daniels in there with the uh, whatever she had going on a homer I think Cesar Jacks as well but winning it today uh, you don't know if you want to really acknowledge it too much, but Olivia uh, Premier. Oh, it's Premier, not Ramir. Olivia Premier taking the MVP spot from uh, tonight's ballgame as she deserves. She played well. As much as I hate to say it, we've got ourselves a uh, manager moment, so I'm going to pop up on the squeaky chair. And uh, there's only one muffin without raisins left on the table. Who gets the muffin? Mm. Well, what's wrong with the muffin with the uh, with uh, ra with raisins in it? Oh, loyalty of only 32 for Steve Woodard. Pretty safe to say he's probably not coming back next year. Lily Rocket, have the muffin. You absolute legend. A 97 loyalty. Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't know what that was all about. Some stat just flew down. I don't know what that was about. All right. All right, so we have the uh, the media is uh, is uh, asking who you thought deserved uh, props in today's game. Who deserves props, folks? What do you think? We've got Cesar Jax, who certainly played well. And uh, we also have Victoria Daniels, who played well as well. I'm going to go with, um, you know... For the last couple of seasons, my media answer. For the last couple of seasons, we've watched uh, Victoria Daniels develop as a player. And uh, to see her continue to play well at the start of this season, hitting our walk-off Grand Slam the other day, and uh, getting it done again out there today, I've got to give props to Victoria Daniels. There goes the loyalty flying up. And we'll stimulate our CPU games as we get ready to wrap up another episode of Super Mega Baseball 4. Man, I love this series. I love playing this game. The storylines that you get and the insanity that occurs, which you can read about on the screen there in terms of eventful things going on in the uh, in the ball games. Um, yeah, there it is. I was just, I was in a kind of a sports commentator mood today. So always fun to kind of sometimes get into that spirit as I play and other times kind of take it more laid back. Sometimes something in between, but uh, get you a look at our next one. And uh, okay, I got a I got an embarrassing story time, um, and I know I should have done some research. That is on me. The Soul Screamers, formerly the Seattle Screamers, we stole their ballpark. Um, there should be an E there, so I'm gonna re uh, I'm gonna try to fix that before our next episode, so that that is right before we travel to Korea, uh, to South Korea, to take on the. Screamers, they are 3-1 and one as well. And they will send to the mound. It looks like uh, Monty Baker. And look at the junk. Some nasty pitch is going to come from Baker. You got the uh, rally stopper trait and an elite four-seamer with no ERA as yet. We will counter... With Ella Vortex, who uh, started on opening day and won that ball game. No, she didn't. I, I guess she didn't. A 27 ER. Oh, it was, it was that disaster of a game against the Dockers, which we won after a good fight. So, well, we'll see a good matchup. Hopefully, Vortex can uh, get it done for us, and uh, we can continue our hot streak. 
um, despite this loss. And, uh, you know, keep rolling. We're 3-1. and one. Not a bad start to the year, but we'll see what happens from there. And uh, all that to come and more. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, queries, ideas, musings. Should I just keep adding to that every time I do that outro? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, feel free to throw those in the comments down below. And we will see you in Seoul, South Korea. Peace.